What is good with it, people? Welcome back to Someone's PC, continuing one of, I guess it's the final video of this, like, four-part series, but if I think of a new list, because some changes need to be made, I'll go ahead and add it. Uh, One Piece, limited battles, format, deck lists, let's get it. If you're here for the purple deck list, here it is. Um, Deck's broken. It's winning a whole bunch of, like, you know, random locals and tournaments. Uh... Yeah, if uh, you just want a deck list, you're gone by now. So cool. Let's go ahead and get started on this video. All right. Starting out, Leader Kaido. Once per turn, Dawn minus seven. You may take seven of your Dawn, throw it back to the Dawn deck. Trash your trash the top of your opponent's life. Um, this is your lethal. This is your game ender. This is how you close. You're going to be winning the game. You're trying to get it close. You drop the Kaido. You need to close. Winners close. This is how you close. You use the seven dawn. You attach them to your characters. You swing with them. Your opponent plays badly, blocks them or discards cards out of their hand in order to not take the damage. Then you remove the seven dawn from your uh, characters because this effect's broken. Dawn minus is not balanced. Take the seven, put it back to your dawn deck, ping them for damage. Use Kaido, swing at them for uh, 13. Tell them to move on with their life. Easy game. Very, very easy. Um, that's the game plan. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do that 20 out of 20 games. Let's go, Kaido. Starting out, we're going to change it to the cost because I forgot to do that again. I'm running out of uh, time, patience, as well as thinking. Um, I have two Sheep's Head in my list. The reason I'm playing Sheep's Head over... over um, oh, her naming her name escapes right now. Uh, Jin Rummy? Yeah, yeah. Over Jin Rummy? Is uh, I like two for four swinging at Bonnie and other people are playing one drops, and I'd rather have something bigger than their one drop so I can like kind of force them to play Dawn under curve and then drop like huge value on them with uh, King Queen or whatever else we're gonna have going on. Who's who pop pop pop, you know what I'm saying? So, two of those, uh, full black, uh, four black Maria. This is your 1k1 counter. People complain that. Purple didn't get a 1k1 counter. That's so hard. Stop. You're fine. You have a 2 for 2. You don't do anything at 1 anyway. Stop. Like, you're, you're using Onigashima. This card's correct. Play 4. Uh, 4 Sasaki. Some people play 2. Some people play 0. Some people play 3. I'm playing 4. The reason being is this deck can dead draw a lot. And by dead draw, it means that you have a whole bunch of broken cards in your hand, but they don't have counter plus 1 or counter plus 2, so you want to complain. That's what purple players do, and that's how they live their life. So... When we're dead drawing, and we already have an Onigashima in play, you want to Dawn minus one to draw a card to draw on the Queen or draw on a Kaido and swing the game in your favor. Also, this card's not dead in your hand. And, yeah. 1k counter, discard it. I love playing four of these. I don't play any of the 3-5 X-Drake because we are not playing blue, red, green, any, any of that childishness. We are trying to go to 10. We're trying to drop a Kaido on their face, and we're trying to beat them, which means... I'm not looking to get, like, this early value 3-5 stuff. No, I'm, tr I'm trying to ramp. I'm trying to get there, baby. And when I get there, I don't want to have a dead hand. And sometimes that happens, so you need Sasuke to draw you a card. Four. Easy. Four Jack. Consistency. Not everyone can draw Onigashima. We're all not blessed like that. Hopefully you are. Hopefully you're playing this deck. You open Onigashima every game and never draw a second one because you're just that good at the game. You know what I'm saying? So, four Jack. Get the ramp. Discard it. Um, You may think to yourself... Onigashima's already here. I don't really need Jack. Cool. It's a 1k counter. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Consistency. Just get to late. Beat their face in. You're probably going to win. Purple stuff. Fours who's who. If you're arguing against playing fours who, who, who's who, I don't know what you're doing with purple. This card's phenomenal. It pops all three costs for lower cards. It, it doesn't need a condition. It doesn't need to be tapped. It doesn't need to be weaker than it. It doesn't need to do anything. Just doll minus one. And you don't care about doing that anyway because you play Onigashima. So, yeah. Who's who? Four of it. Broken card. Don't forget to throw two Dawn underneath this card. Swing at your opponent. And then play other small value cards. Black Maria. Um, Queen. And so forth. I see a lot of people just they just they throw out um, who's who. And then they think that they don't have like some incredible attacker on the board anymore. He already did his job. Who cares if he gets swung on? Who cares? It's a swing number five. It's easy. Four ulti. Uh, how do I talk about it? 2k counter? I'm playing four of it no matter what. Card's insane. Um, you can run, or, you can run away with games against green 
if you use his Dawn minus one as bill Dawn minus one ability and high roll the page one in your hand. You can win board. You can get too many cards on board for your opponent to deal with, and you can have like you can sit on a Brachio Bomber. So you use ulti, you go for the Dawn minus one, you put in page one, you use Onigashima, and you look at your opponent, and they draw, and now you have too many cards on board. When you draw for turn, you can king them, you can Brachio Bomber them while maintaining two four big body beaters or four cost big body beaters, but one's five K, one's six K. Card's phenomenal. You should be playing four no matter what. Don't be afraid to use the Dawn minus one on playability because sometimes all the counters in the world won't be able to win you a game in the late stages. Four page one. Um, again, big body, six. You need to support that ulti play if you high roll it. Sometimes you have to play it. Whenever you play it, it kind of feels bad, but you know, you can just go for a turn sooner if you have multiple bodies on board. Like you have this plus a who's who plus a king um, and they have two health left. You can like Attach one to page one, swing in for seven. Attach two to um, Kaido, swing in for seven, and then attach four to your who's who and swing in um, for seven. Then Dawn minus seven, burn them for last damage, and then swing them with um, King. Like, that's a common play I made if I didn't draw my Kaido yet because, you know, you're quote-unquote low rolling. So, not bad to have here. Four queen, cards absurd. Um, biggest blocker besides Kid right now. It doesn't really matter. The card's phenomenal. Don't be, don't be afraid to block with queen and then use your blast breath to save it when your opponent's swinging in and you at nine. Because they're going to be thinking, oh, I'm going to swing him at nine so that way he has a blast breath plus like burn another card in order to save itself. And then you're like, nah, son, I got queen. Boom, 10K. Get out of my face. Um, next turn, you restand and then you start swinging in with queen. Because queen is six, it does threaten a life damage by swinging with it. And... Other than that, use Queen to discard your extra Onigashima or your extra Kaido or your extra King in your hand that you don't need anymore. Play four of it no matter what. Okay, this is where we're going to start getting a tad complicated. I'm going with four King. And you might be thinking that's that's pretty normal, um, but you are playing two promo Kaido, so maybe that's why you're saying this, and that's exactly why. So the, the quote-unquote high rolling in purple is turn one nothing for me. Some people like Jin Rami. Sure, do whatever you want to do. Um, turn two, Onigashima. Turn three, King. Kick him in the face. And then next turn, Queen plus um, Black Maria until they actually present a problem. Then you Kaido the problem. <coughs> Coughing. Hopefully I can edit that out. I might be lazy. Um, other than that, King is phenomenal because he gives you board presence. He's 7K so he can't get hit by Jet Pistol. And he's a card that can initially trade with 7-drop Kid. And you can bait bad players into blocking your other swings on board, so you can load up the king and swing at their um, swing at their seven drop kid after they block with it. I want four of that because I want to do that high roll scenario. I want to go um, nothing Onigashima king, ten out of ten games. It feels so strong. It's absolutely absurd, especially in this format. It's even good inside one. So, boom, four of them. Uh, two promo Kaido. I see a lot of people not playing this. Totally fine. You know, you do you. This card breaks the mirror in half. It's untargetable in the mirror. It will stomp the living mess out of your opponent in the mirror. And your opposing Kaido can't even kill your own Kaido because you can save it with a blast breath. And you might be thinking, well, you can do the same thing with Kaido versus Kaido. And I was like, totally get that. But if I ramped up faster than you and then I just happened to go to seven while you were still on six because you dropped down your king and I put out a Kaido, you know, you can respond with the Kaido next turn, but you, your Kaido can't pop my Kaido. And you probably won't be able to lethal me yet, depending on how the game's running and how um, I've been discarding early counters to, you know, draw ourselves out to, like, four lives or, like, four, three life each um, going into our final turns. This card breaks the mirror match. The banish is not that bad, but pretty much why it's here. It's a seven cost, can't get popped, and it's 8k, and it's bigger than everything else they'll have. And if they have a Kaido... And um, to respond to this card's attack on you, a single Blast Breath will save it, and they'll never be able to use Kaido to get over it. Because at most, Kaido can turn himself into an 11, because they only have one extra Dawn for the turn he drops down with Rush. If they choose to play down a Kaido and not attack with it with Rush, you're big chilling, because this Kaido gets two swings in before a Kaido comes back at him. And even then, you can just flood the board with like a couple Black Marias and maybe a Queen. And then go for a Blast Breath to defend itself. You need to de dedicate more Dawn to try and go at this guy. So, Phenomenal card. I'm only playing two if I expect a lot of purple mirrors. I do expect a lot of purple mirrors in limited battles. I think people really like purple. And I think it's 
somewhat easy to pilot when you draw Onigashima. And when you don't draw Onigashima, it's somewhat really hard to pilot because you're more than likely going to lose because, yeah, this, this deck just really needs it. So you can cut down to one. Um, you can cut the king to add an extra, like, sheep's head or other other valuable card that you want in here. Don't really know why. I just like having two because I want to be prepared for the mirror match, and I feel like I'm confident I'm going to win it. Um, three Kaido. Some people like four. I played with four for a bit, and I drew it so often. <laughs> I was like, yo, I need to go down to, like, three. And I kind of want something else with the mirror match, so I guess I'll just play this. And, um, yeah, I mean, if you don't like this, you can take away the two and go back to one and play four of this guy. You know what he does. Dom minus five. Rush, pop a card with the cost six or less. Dominate the whole board. The man, an answer, or close out the game. That's the boy. That's Kaido. That's the king. Cool. Uh, moving on to your events. Four Blast Breath. I never want anything less. This card's phenomenal. Um, for one, you can give something 4K. Um, I use this all the time just to protect my, like, my early game cards uh, when I have multiple copies of these in hand. Because I've noticed that, like, oh, if I can, for some reason, keep my, my um, ulti on board or my page one that I had to throw down or, like, queen um, to further pressure winning the game a turn earlier, um, I would never need to use a Splash Breath to defend myself when they're trying to leave for me late. So. Last but not least, um, outside of 4 and Gashma, I don't know how to go into that card, right? I only play 3 Brach uh, Brachio Bomber. Uh, its trigger ability is pretty phenomenal. I just don't like having multiple copies in my hand when I'm staring down a 7 cost. So if I'm staring down a Dofi or a Kid, it feels real bad to have Bra Bra uh, Brachio Bomber. But if I'm staring down the 5 drop Luffy... Um, or the Basil Hawkins in green, the Bracket Bomber feels phenomenal. So, um, unsure how I feel about the card at four. Kind of like it at three. Sometimes I, I only want two, but then I play the mirror match and I'm like, I guess I need this if I haven't drawn my promo yet. And then as soon as you draw your promo, you can kind of take over the game from there. Last but not least, the four one you got I mentioned. Um, yeah, you need a bullet game for this card. You need to draw it. We draw multiple copies. You can absolutely complain. Just draw your queen, discard it. No biggie. Um, there are scenarios when you're getting rushed down by red or green early, and you're like, I can play any Gashima here, or I can play Jack. Which one do I do, Russ? And the answer is, it depends on the situation. But more than likely, it's Jack. If they have like three bodies wide, and they're going to go in for a lot of swings you do the next turn, you kind of need to develop a character board presence in order to like hammer like steamer off all of the like all that swinging coming at you the following turn too many bodies on board and you don't um you don't luck sack a who's who out of life right so there's a couple scenarios where you want to jack instead of onigashima uh, most of the time it's just onigashima and you know, just discard it late no biggie you have to mulligan for it you got to draw it um matchup wise you can struggle against red if they high roll you early that's about it. If you can stabilize at all against all their silly aggression, then no matter what late you'll win, as long as they don't go like back-to-back -back turns of Diablo Jambe and you for some reason weren't using your blockers on previous turns knowing that um, uh, Diablo Jambe is coming up, right? So um, t I tend to use my Black Marias and my, my Queens early so that way they can't just set me up for that 5-drop Luffy to lethal me in through my blockers, or Diablo John made to lead me through the blockers. Um, blue, you, you're pretty much favored in the matchup. However, if I'm thinking from the blue's point of view, I want to regulate the number of attacks you'll ever be able to get at me. Also, I want to get two Dofies onto the board against your nothing. So they're looking to put your king back, put your queen back, and make you go, all right, I'm choosing between Kaido or any other productive play this turn. And if that Kaido does not win you the game that turn, it's really hard to convince yourself to play it down. And um, that's the ideal scenario for blue. They're going to sit on their laws, or I tend to sit on my laws, keep them in my hand, go for like a Dofi plus a law turn, and then next turn play another Dofi. And I'm kind of forcing the Kaido pop to target a law instead of like another card on board, like Centamar or whatever else it is, and playing to um, like not having that many attacks where they can actually like, you know, will purple can lethal them. So for me, um, keep a lot of bodies on board, Kaido's decent in the matchup, but he's not 100% super necessary, um, unless it's the turn you're trying to win with it. Uh, the promo Kaido, 
yeah, just try not to play in that matchup. It'll get Sobbles back to its hand. Um, other than that, other than that, it's like it's good against Red. It's not too bad. But yeah, um, mirror match gets to the promo Kaido, kick their face in, uh, pop their board. Use Brachio Bomber on uh, King. Use Kaido on King. Uh, make sure you have one open for Blast Breath at all times, and you know, just kind of get there. Uh, you have an un un uh, poppable card uh, against their tons of poppable cards and a couple of Kaidos. So, yeah, uh, this is the deck that I'd recommend people that are super confused and don't know what to play. I'd recommend this for limited battles. Um, if you're playing blue, it takes a little bit more experience on what to decide or when to decide when to use your Dofies and when to use your Crocodiles. And this is more so like, hey, I haven't had much practice. I do have every uh, two every single deck. What do I go with? Purple it up. Um, learn the, a little bit of the mirror match. Learn to play against green a tad bit because people say it's like super under favored. I, I kind of disagree with them, especially playing from green side. I think purple can keep up quite easily. So, yeah. Good luck. Purple it up. Go Kaido. And I hope you all have fun and have a great day and or night.